Hi, I'm Lynn. And I'm Leo. Welcome back to Yoga with Lynn and Leo. And welcome to our tutorial. Today we're going to be practicing towards Pasasana. So some of you may have not been introduced to Pasasana yet, but you'll soon find out a little bit more about this pose. So quite a challenging pose. We're going to be using a rolled mat. You can use your mat that you would be sitting on. A brick. We've got a rope here, but a, a yoga belt is absolutely fine. Or if you don't have a yoga uh, belt, then any tie or cord will also work. Okay, so we're going to start by getting a little bit of mobility in the hips. So we're going to start with our feet a little bit apart, our feet on a, some support, our heels on a support for Malasana. So just have a look at this action. So we're coming into a Malasana action. Now, if you find that Malasana is quite a challenging pose, then be sure that you go a little bit higher with the heels, you can see this. Now we're taking the legs apart a little because this is just to get a little bit of connection with, with the back of the spine. So Leo's gonna come forward, but with the wide leg. I know that we practice the classic with the feet together. She's gonna come forward and then push her upper arms into the thighs like this. And she's just getting a little bit of movement here. You can see that Leo's swaying from side to side. And I really love this way of practice because when you move from side to side, you really start to find a little bit more of your spine and a little bit more of your hips as well. You can see this action. This is a really challenging action. So, so many people put so much effort into Malasana, but really the effort needs to come at the very base of the spine. So we're going to take the feet together now. So same thing, but we're just going to take the heels together. And those of you who can take the heels to the floor, be careful that you're not just rolling back into the heels and that you are having that support. Now, every time you start to come into this action, you've got to lift from the front body. So the front body's got to extend to the spine. So this is a really big connection from that lower abdominal connection to the spine. And again, push those upper arms into the heels so you really open that back spine and then release it. So we're just going to come into an action, taking the heels a little bit higher onto the brick here because this will be quite useful. We're just going to take the feet together but keep the thighs together as well in the last one. We're going to come to the wall. So what we're going to do is come a little bit closer to the wall here. So Leo will need to be a little bit closer, that's it. So what's important here is that you just don't drop down from your knees. You've got to get length and extension and then take yourself into the bent leg action. That's it, and just gradually take yourself down. That's it, keep getting that action, that's it. So actually there's a bit of broadness that happens in the lower spine. It's quite quite a tough action. So now we're going to turn towards the wall. So just have a look at Leo here. She's going to hook the arm in front of the thigh. So left arm to right thigh and then place the fingers on the wall. And when we come into this action, it's not about twisting to the wall, it's about getting that length. So if you were in a forward bend and look to nice, you'd be really lengthy in the back of the thigh, front of the thigh, all of that needs to be connected and getting that twisting action. So really, this is the start of a Malasana action. Now we're gonna turn the whole pose around slightly. So when we come out of this, we're gonna turn, so Leo's gonna to turn towards the camera now. So she's gonna lift, you see that lift up through the abdomen and then hook in, yes. Now you can take the, try to keep the thighs as much together as possible and in line together and then keep that rolling and turning. See how far you can take that arm back. Now what I'm going to do here, the problem we've got here is Leo you is know, sitting on the, sitting on the rope, but it's okay. So you can see that actually this arm 
you see better when we come to the other side it is coming round and then we can take this on to see if we can catch it and look there's a little bit of um, movement going on then a little bit more space required but if that was difficult then we take hold of the belt it probably work better for Leo with the belt because she'd get better to us you can see she's coming off of her leg so she wants to keep that action on the leg there we go and then pull that's much better so she can get that pull we see this these yeah guys need to be together and get that turning action yes so pressing down into the heels so very very strong pose and then releasing so we'll show you from the other side it's very strong isn't it so yeah let's get very very strong but when you do get that action it's a little bit um, nicer to go from the heels and you've got a better chance of catching I know that actually um, you know when you go up onto that support it just gives you that little bit more space so the catch comes maybe or maybe not today but then we can start moving the brick away and start to go down towards the floor if that's possible so we will we will see but today we're just coming into the modified version so we're going to even Leo up and do the other side. That's grand. So we're going to go to the wall. First of all, just get that warming up and the understanding of the twisting action. That's it. And then come into that turning action. Yes, so keeping that length, understanding, try not to go into the lumbar spine, get that length. Yes, that's exactly the action. And then turn towards the wall. So you're going to hook first of all, take the fingers to the wall. And this is really a nice way of learning. This is really how I learned this pose and it's quite helpful because one of the biggest difficulties, if it's difficult to take those heels down, is stability of course because it is such a compact action. Okay, and then Leo's going to release and she's going to turn towards the camera. So now there's this really big lift you have to get from the abdomen and then hook the left arm in front of the thigh and then get that action and then see if you can get that, that catch. So it may come this side or it may be a little bit more challenging. So we'll just take hold of the belt, that's it, hold of the belt. Um, and then pull on your support and then just get that turn in action. So this continues to improve, so don't worry if you're finding it quite challenging. Just come to the wall action, that's absolutely fine. Um, if you take it that little step further, then do so. Then of course, you can have a go at taking the heels down and catching the hands together, but that does take a little bit more time, and then release it. And you might find, um, that one side is asymmetric you know it's a bit difficult one side to the other i certainly feel that in my body but you know you get carried away and think yay <laughs> catching and then you come to the other side it's a little bit more challenging that's normal <laughs> yes or well, both sides might be very challenging <laughs> but that's pass us now. so um we hope you've enjoyed um enjoyed the video we are as you can see in a new location today we've got two studios in this building since we've moved where we're using both we found that last week when we put out the video that was a little bit echoey in our other studios so we're trying this studio today yes okay so if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please do and also like our video absolutely and check down in the description below if you want any more information about the Maidstone Yoga Centre and coming to any of our workshops that we hold here so we hope to see you again very soon namaste